Greetings, this is Dr. Robert Gish. I'll be discussing today the liver biopsy. Why, when, we'll go into more details about complications, utility, when this should be done, and maybe when not to do liver biopsies. Liver, as you know, sits in the right upper part of the abdomen, underneath the rib cage, largest organ in the body, actually the most complex organ in the body. The biopsy is extremely useful in managing different disease states, diagnosing different disease states. When liver tests, liver enzymes are elevated, we very commonly discuss getting a biopsy to stage disease, make diagnosis. If liver function tests are abnormal, we rarely do biopsies. Typically biopsies are high risk at that point. The diagnosis may already have been made. We're going to be discussing liver transplant, other types of disease management. This is a normal liver, soft, pliable, firm, should not be shrunken or enlarged. The biopsy still is a gold standard, not a platinum standard, but a gold standard. We sample about 1 50,000th of the liver, but because of the way we do biopsies, we're able to stage disease accurately in 95 to 97% of patients. But it's important that you have your biopsy done with a 16 gauge needle, two passes, and adequate length and quality. The biopsy is done through a very fine needle under ultrasound or maybe CT guidance, topical anesthesia over the skin underneath the skin area, down to the liver surface will help with that biopsy to make it comfortable. The chances of dying from a liver biopsy are less than one in 13,000 procedures. I personally have done nearly 8,000 liver biopsies. Nobody has died in my practice. Risk of serious complications are less than one in 1,000 and often unpredictable. That's why we have detailed informed consent we make sure patients don't take aspirin the week before the biopsy, don't take Motrin or Naproxen-like medicines a day before the biopsy. It's done in a compliant patient. There's no ascites. Coagulation is normal. Under image guidance, very, very important. Not just for hepatitis C, but for all liver biopsies. We do want ultrasound guidance because we don't want to hit the gallbladder, don't want to hit the kidneys, don't want to hit the lungs don't want to hit the colon. Liver biopsy could be done through the neck vein, back into the back of the liver, mm -hmm. especially if there's ascites that's present. Uh, the liver is small and shrunken. Maybe the right side of the liver is small. There's other indications for transjugular biopsies, typically in higher risk patients. We're gonna do two passes to get adequate tissue Make sure we have correct staging and grading and enough tissue to make a diagnosis and prognosticate. Talk about the future. This is our crystal ball in managing your disease. This is a biopsy that's too small, fragmented, inadequate. This biopsy is a little too thin, probably done with an 18 gauge needle. 16 gauge is standard of care. Two passes is best to get adequate tissue. This is what a liver should look like on a normal biopsy. These are liver cells, bile duct, portal vein, hepatic artery, portal area, and blood flows back through a central vein. This is a real liver biopsy under a microscope. Portal, flow, central vein. These should be normal. This is a normal portal area. This is the framework on which we base all of our other visualizations. Hepatitis, we score the inflammation in the liver. Doesn't necessarily mean somebody's infectious or somebody's drinking. We're gonna score how much fat. Are there cells that are dying? This is something called a Mallory's body. Is there pigment? All these things go into what's called a synoptic or a report. A biopsy report should have two, three, four hundred words should have many descriptions and many parameters that are looked at and specified in that report. Here's fatty liver. We're going to score how much fat, 
how much fibrosis, how much inflammation. That goes into what's called our NASH or fatty liver score. We're going to talk about scar tissue. This is stage two disease where fibrosis is going out of the portal area. Zero is normal. Stage one, portal fibrosis. Stage two, extra portal. Stage three, bridging. Stage four, nodules. This is the information we get out of liver biopsy. You can watch a liver biopsy by Dr. Dietrich. It's on YouTube. It'll show you how simple and safe this procedure is. We're going to use a biopsy, maybe if you have autoimmune disease, an immune attack on the liver. Look at all the different variants. We want to know the type, and we want to know the stage and grade to help manage your disease. Primary biliary hepatitis, where the immune system is attacking the bile ducts. We want to know if you have cirrhosis or not. If you don't have cirrhosis, we call it primary biliary hepatitis, an attack on the bile tubes. Liver cancer. We rarely biopsy liver cancer these days, but that's going to change in the next one to three years as we come out with new therapies. And the biopsy will help us guide as to what is the best therapy for that liver cancer. In summary, a liver biopsy, high yield, very, very low risk, excellent for prognosis, excellent for staging, excellent for making the diagnosis. Discuss a liver biopsy with your provider and balance that with benefits versus risk. Thank you very much.